At the moment, we're introducing the three candidates, and it's the turn of Stella Creasy. Hi, Stella. Hi, Evan. Now, um, you um, you were a councillor in Waltham Forest, in Lee Bridge Ward, weren't you? And you were the youngest mayor back in 2002? Yes, I was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what, 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 when might you leave um, the local politics? Well, I didn't leave local politics. I just wanted to spend more time doing the community work that I've always really enjoyed around here. And the great thing about being a councillor is that you get to meet a lot of people. The bad side about it is that it's an awful lot of work. So trying to combine that with a lot of community work, there are a lot of meetings involved. I have to admit, I used to call the meetings arm chewers and I would have chewed my own arm off to leave early for some of them because they were quite long and quite boring. So I thought at that time, actually, the place I really can make the biggest difference is on the streets in Walthamstow, working with my friends, my neighbours, all the different community groups I was involved with. Mm. But you're not from Walthamstow originally, are you? Um, no, I've lived all over the country because my mum was a head teacher and so we moved every time she got a new school. I've lived in Walthamstow the longest I've lived anywhere. I've been here 13 years now and all my family are here, in fact, so it feels like home to me, certainly. Great. And at the moment you're working um, at Gilwell Park with the, the Scout Association. What do you do up there? Well, I've, in fact, I've, I've just resigned to fight the election, but I was the head of campaigns there. So I was doing a lot of work with young people about advocacy and tra training them to be able to speak up for themselves, which is really great fun because you work with children from six to 25. So all different ages, all different concerns and getting them to speak up for the things that they're really interested in and get involved in their local communities as well. Mm. Well, that sounds really good. Um, now, tell us, um, what got you into politics? Uh, well, I've always been very interested in the world around me and very concerned about a lot of issues. And when I was younger, I got involved in a lot of social campaigns. Um, but also I was a bit like Andy, very concerned to argue about and talk about and think about how things could be different. I mean, I was very affected growing up looking at the impact of Margaret Thatcher on the country around me and particularly my friends and my families around that, that I was living around. Um, and I come from a family where my mum and dad both said to me, well, don't just talk about it do something about it so they encouraged me to to get involved in my local community and for me it was a natural extension for the kind of concerns and passions I had particularly around social justice and to feel that the world could be a different way to get involved in the Labour Party as well so for a long time over 20 years I've been both a community campaigner and a political campaigner. Mm -hmm. And what do you like about Walthamstow? I love Walthamstow. I call Walthamstow God's own country because it has a bit of everything in it. And I think it's funny, when you get on the tube, you can see the people from Walthamstow. We all stand at the end of the platform to be able to get on. We all share a passion for our local community. We love the fact that you have a market where you can buy a huge amount of bananas for a pound and that actually mm. there are lots and lots of different nationalities all living here. And actually, we do get on. You know, We have some fantastic street parties in Walthamstow. I love going to them. I love meeting all these new different groups. And every day I meet someone different. What, just briefly, Stella, what do you dislike about Walthamstow? I think the thing that frustrates me is when we miss opportunities for Walthamstow, or when people say, oh, well, you know, what do you expect? I expect everything. You know, I do a lot of youth work in this area, and I work with a lot of young people who are really talented, but because of where they live, sometimes people give up on them, and that really frustrates me. It's something I really want to change. Hmm. Now, you've picked a piece of music. It's The Beatles' Twist and Shout. Why this song? This song is very sentimental to me for a lot of reasons. When I was a young girl, my dad used to stage discos for me and my friends, and he'd always play this, and all the relatives and all the people in the street would join in. And as I got older, of course, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, it was very <laughs> sentimental to me as well. And it's one of those songs, I bet when you play it, there were people in the corridors in the hospital who'll start singing along and maybe even dancing, because it's just a great, happy song. 